Well, today is STEM Matters Day at the Idaho State Capitol. Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham is down there live to uh, not only give us the weather, but also explain what this event is all about. It was a little bit of a chilly day out here at the state capitol, Brent and Natalie, but science, technology, engineering, and mathematics conquered all. The kids showed up here at the capitol building by the bus loads, and it was all because STEM really does matter. And so the kids were out here. We had all sorts of displays. We had firefighters. We had law enforcement displays. We also had displays associated with uh, some of our local military, National Guard, things of that nature. But more importantly is what was going on inside the Capitol building. And for more on that, let's bring in my colleague, Abigail Taylor, who was here pretty much throughout much of the day. And Abigail, it was kind of fun to watch the light just going on yes. with all of these kids at the Capitol building today for the STEM Matters. It was. I'll tell you what, the smiles on the kids' faces just lighting up as they were watching this technology light up was amazing. And I want to share some numbers with you guys, so stick with me here. We all know we've heard that Idaho is the fastest growing state in the country and we boast the third fastest growing job sector and the Idaho STEM Action Center tells me that 90% of those jobs are STEM related. So if that doesn't tell you that STEM matters, I don't know what will. You're the ones who are going to write your ticket to do whatever you want the rest of your life. If you continue on your track of being involved in STEM, you're going to have the luxury for the rest of your life of being a job chooser. Hundreds of kids filled the State House for STEM Matters Day. This is the third year the Idaho STEM Action Center has hosted the event. And every year, the need for STEM jobs right here in Idaho continues to grow. The Idaho State Department of Labor says around 7,000 STEM-related jobs went unfilled last year. That's nearly double the year before. The Idaho STEM Action Center hopes the annual STEM Matters event will encourage kids to seek a job in a STEM field, from computer science to engineering. This event shows kids STEM can not only lead to a career, but it's also a lot of fun. For us, hosting STEM Matters at the Capitol is just an opportunity for legislators to come and see what our students are doing, to see the smiles on their face, to talk to them about what's happening in their classroom, to interact with industry, to better understand what are the skills that our students are going to need so that we can, at the STEM Action Center can provide the professional development and the tools to educators to ensure those students move through the STEM pathways and continue into a STEM career, hopefully here in Idaho. And we were out here all day showing off our brand new adventure weather tracker and drone. And so Nate, talk a little bit about how this relates to STEM. You bet, so STEM has been a generous partner in helping us here with the Adventure Weather Tracker or the KBOI Weather Team and helping bring, again, because STEM is a very important part of weather, bringing this to kids and uh, to the community as well. So we all know that STEM, of course, is all about getting kids excited about things like science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, we know more importantly, they're excited, especially with some of the new gadgets that we have to help them learn about atmospheric sciences in this case. Our partnership has brought uh, technology resources like the Adventure Weather Tracker or the STEM drone. We'll be able to take these resources to schools where students can learn specifically about our atmosphere and weather instrumentation. As a teacher, I would be able to teach my students about altitude and they could convert that from feet to meters or teach them about Fahrenheit and how we convert that to Celsius. So there's certainly many teaching opportunities that go into weather itself. Now on top of the weather tracker, we do have the latest in weather instrumentation, a Weatherhawk weather station. That allows us to measure basics like temperature and pressure, but also measure precipitation with its own radar and even solar radiation. So when this truck, the Adventure Weather Tracker, rolls up to schools around the community, we're going to be able to show kids with the display panel that we have set up here linked to the Weatherhawk weather station, what exactly the wind speeds are and the direction as well as temperature. Uh, wind chill, which is taken into account, humidity of course, and here we have the solar radiation, which is interesting, and of course with that radar we'll track precipitation as it's happening. 
Uh, and that's what we're excited to talk about. And we're happy that STEM is partnering with us to help us do that. It's an exciting day. Yes. And, it, and even though it was a little bit on the chilly side, <laughs> the kids showed up. I don't think the kids up. minded. It is chilly out here, yes. isn't it? In fact, we've got some storms on the horizon, guys. Temperature right now here in downtown Boise is 46 degrees, according to the weather hawk. But you know what? I think you're going to like what we've got, especially you skiers are going to love the forecast that we've got in store for you. It's all coming up in just a few minutes. In the meantime, from where STEM matters occurred today, Brett and Natalie, back to you guys in the studio.